Welcome Capricorn. This is Renee and welcome to your reading. This is going to be for Capricorn next 48 hours. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at what you can expect, what's coming forward. What is going on Capricorn the next 48 hours, okay? So let's take a look. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more with you at this time. Okay, so let's have a look. What's going on for Capricorn? Okay, we have the messenger of emotion. So this is the page of cups. Okay, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social person, excuse me, a social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Okay, so beautiful. We also have the helper of emotion. So this is the Knight of Cups. Romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Actually, this is the page and that is the night. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm getting used to these cards. Okay, gifts of flowers, love letters, poems, uh, read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy, emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who's an idealist about love. Beautiful. Oh my. So there's definitely some kind of love being offered to you. Some kind of some kind of emotional message is going to be offered. Some kind of love is being offered, okay? At the bottom, we have helper of abundance. So although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help you out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, an endless patience that person could be you okay so there could be some abundance coming through as well now ab abundance doesn't always have to be material gain okay there can be an abundance of love you know a abundance of friendship joy happiness you know so I, I feel like you know there's some sort of abundance coming in for you in the next 48 hours something that's going to make you very happy it could also make you very emotional, um, but I feel like something is coming through for you. Let's take a look and see what is going on with Capricorn's love life. What's going on in Capricorn's love life the next 48 hours, please? Give me a message for Capricorn the next 48 hours. What's going on? Okay, the golden mirror. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, Capricorn, here's the thing. I feel like if if you are meeting someone, I feel like they may be very close to you. Um, you could be mirroring each other's emotions, mirroring each other's characteristics. But I feel like you're both very similar. This is very similar energy. You're mirroring each other. You know, there's emotions that are connected. Okay, so this could be a soulmate situation. Um, I also feel with this card, with this golden mirror, I also feel with this card that you're changing some sort of characteristic about yourself. You may be changing your hair, buying new glasses. 
you know, changing up your, your clothes, your style. I also get that you may be changing your car. Okay, I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel like you may be changing your car. Okay, um, very interesting. And we also have the palm tree. So whatever the situation is, I feel like this is bringing in a lot of stability, a lot of growth. Uh, I feel like you are nurturing yourself to, you know, bring forward something that's going to be much better. Okay, I feel like you're trading something in for a newer model, kind of like that, right? Um, but and I feel <laughs> don't trade in your your significant other for a newer model, but yeah, right, unless you want to. But yeah, and I feel like you're trading something in. You know, it could be that you're changing your dress. You're changing the way you dress. You're changing your style, your hair, your makeup. Um, if you're a male, you know, you're changing certain things. You're changing. You're growing. Okay. So, I don't know why I'm getting that. But that that's what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, Capricorn. If this is a person, a new person coming through or a person reuniting with you, uh, give me their energy, spirit, give me their energy. What would they want to say to Capricorn? Give me their intentions. What would they say to Capricorn? What messages do they have? Okay, we need to let each other go. <laughs> I feel like, you know, there's there's someone there's someone that you'll be letting go of. This may not be a love interest, but I feel like there's someone that you're going to let go of. Okay, or there's something that you're going to let go of. I wish I could take back my words. So I feel like if, if this is someone that you're dealing with, I feel like maybe the last time you spoke with this person, I feel like there was something that was said that they really feel like they they want to take back now but now that it's said i feel like it's out there so yeah i mean you've already felt the intense feelings from whatever it is that they said right and i feel like they have a lot of regrets look at this of course they have a lot of regrets i wish things could be different i wish i could have taken back what i said before i said that you know um but yeah, I feel like there's someone here who has great regret in this situation. There's someone who's really thinking about you, who's really absorbing their energy into this reading here. Okay, so I'm so attracted to you, right? So someone is very attracted to you. Someone is stepping forward. I'm not sure if this is the same energy, but... Um, I feel like someone is very attracted to you, okay? And we also have, my life is not as together as it seems, okay? At the bottom we have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow. That's very interesting because, I mean, the, the emotions that I'm getting, and I feel like there's going to be some kind of emotional event happening, in the next 48 hours there's something that's going to kind of bring your emotions to the forefront right and this may be the situation that's doing that there may be someone that's coming back someone who is attempting to make things better with you right um but i do feel like there is someone new there is a new energy here as well um so, I mean, uh, take it how it resonates here, Capricorn, right? Um, because I feel like someone finds you very attractive. Or this is your energy finding someone new very attractive. Hmm. Are you attracted to someone new, Capricorn? This is a very interesting thought. Okay, let's get some... 
some cards. Now these are handmade cards, but we're gonna get a message. Let's see what's coming out for Capricorn. Let's see what's coming out for Capricorn. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Please? Messages for Capricorn. Okay. So we have, yeah, see, someone's coming back. Please forgive me. We also have letting go of the past. <laughs> wow. I'm set in my ways. I'm being stubborn. There's someone who doesn't want to change. Someone doesn't want to change the situation, right? And things just got emotional, okay? That's just what I just said. I feel like it's going to be a very emotional time for you, right? And we also have going through transformation and changes. So I really feel like there's something that, you know, is going to take you through some changes here. You already know the answer. Hmm. And we have happy times are coming. So, although this is going to be an emotional time, I feel like there's... Those emotions may be happiness that's coming forward for you. You know, we have the cups here. The cups are emotions happy sad or you know whatever all all that's in between but i feel like you know there there's a lot of happiness here as well because there's a lot of change and transformation that's going to be happening and i really feel like there's someone new coming forward there's someone new maybe that you're not expecting okay so let's take a look at the tarot what's going on for capricorn take a look at the tarot the hermits so you may have been spending a lot of time soul searching right we have the queen of oh wow the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles so these are your cards capricorn um with the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles i feel like you're soul searching about a relationship you're soul searching about maybe a, a marriage or a relationship situation. And I feel like you are looking for a lot of stability in this situation. But I feel like you've also gone through a lot of healing um, along with soul searching. You may have spent a little time alone or had to go deep within to really figure out what your emotions are at this time about this relationship. Um, but I feel like I feel like you're really looking for something stable, right? Um, we have the Five of Cups. So there may be something that you're leaving behind, some kind of emotion, some kind of past regret that you're leaving behind and trying to move forward with because you're looking for healing. Yes, definitely definitely looking for healing we have the six of cups at the bottom so definitely some kind of emotions that you're re revisiting this may be family or friends emotions from the past maybe even from your childhood um, that you're revisiting you're like reminiscing or trying to rewrite the past right um with this energy but I definitely feel like there's something that you're leaving behind in order for you to gain some kind of healing some kind of understanding you're trying to you know get past these emotions and um, putting yourself first right because you are becoming your star this could also be Pisces energy here. Um, could be a water sign, but I'm really feeling Pisces energy. Okay. Um, very interesting, but I definitely feel like it has something to do with this king and queen of pentacles. 
so you may be married or you may be in a long-term relationship feeling like it's very stable very solid and you know i feel like you know this person may be very very loyal to you but i feel like there's something that happened that kind of took away some of that balance that you felt in this relationship and now you are looking to heal from whatever was done but i feel like you are going to gain that healing you are going to you're you're going to feel that stability again okay this you know as we see the queen holding up that pinnacle right we see the king kind of dropping the pinnacle like they're kind of not even thinking about that pinnacle anymore they're just almost ready to let it go but the queen she's still holding it up she's still cherishing it okay so whether you're the king or the queen whether you're in that energy i feel like one of you is ready to drop the ball and the other is trying very hard to hold it up right so I feel like that's where the soul searching is coming in at. You may need to get some time away to really think things through. To, you know, have that inner sanctuary time, right? Let's um, get some clarity for this message. Give me a message for Capricorn. Give me more of a message for Capricorn. Tell me more about this message, please. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Wands. Someone's being defensive. Someone is standing their ground on their situation. I feel like there's 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 some kind of beliefs that you're standing up for, but I feel like you're not ready to give up just yet, right? I feel like, you know, you have this empress energy at the bottom. So I feel like you are really trying to focus on yourself. You're trying to focus on what makes you happy, what makes you beautiful, what makes you handsome, you know, what kind of person you are. You're also maybe manifesting a certain situation into your life. You may be very fertile at this moment and very emotional. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're, you're on the defense. You know, it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with Capricorn. It could be a Leo Aries or, um, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's, hmm, there's something going on that's, kind of in the way of your happiness, in the way of a celebration, because this defensive energy is kind of blocking the, the happiness here, the celebration, the, the marriage, the union, right? Um, but I feel like you're not ready to give up just yet. Okay? So that's very interesting, Capricorn. Very interesting. Let's get uh, some angel cards. What angel message do we have for Capricorn? What angel message do we have for Capricorn, please? Next 48 hours. Get more information. There's some uh, digging that you're going to be doing. We also have not the right time. Okay, so I feel like you may feel like, you know, you need to get more information, but it's not the right time to either reunite or separate. You know, it's just, it, it wouldn't be good for you or the other people involved. You may have children involved or some sort of situation, but I feel like um, Spirit is letting you know it's not the right time. It's not the right time for some kind of situation, right? Okay, we also have romance here. So there may be some kind of new romance happening or you may be able to reignite the situation. But you do have romance here, okay? And look at this, we have don't stop. 
Don't stop. Don't give up on your situation. You're just not ready to give up yet. Right? And we also have you're ready. Okay? So, let's get some angel guidance. What does the angels have to say for Capricorn? Some angel guidance, please. Okay, we have sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Shekinah, okay? So, let's see. We also have love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choosing loving thoughts. Okay? So keep it positive, Capricorn. Okay? Don't be focused on the negative at this time. You know, kind of raise your vibration. I feel like that's very important for you. Okay? So let's take a look at what is Capricorn's angel number. What number is coming through for Capricorn in the next 48 hours? Spirit, give me an angel number. Yeah, all right. Five, 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 change. Change happens outside our comfort zone. The time for change is now. The angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it. Take the first step, excuse me, take the next step and allow change to lift you up and guide you forward. Okay? Your affirmation. I release all that no longer serves me as I'm guided to move outside of my comfort zone and let change in. Okay, so Capricorn, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, Capricorn, please like and subscribe, comment if you'd like. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more with you at this time. And until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you. Love and light.